back to the trap and I'm flipping it. Double cup with the purple, I'm sipping it. Ay, ay. I might pull up where you stay. I might pull up, let it spread. What's good, YouTube? It's Constant, and I'm back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video today. I got a full lineup of pink diamonds and a couple opals and I'm going to be showing you guys the best rewards cards in my team and it's going to be all the different types of rewards. We got some token rewards, we got some game rewards from Triple Threat and we got some spotlight rewards. So first I'm going to start off with the newest card that we have and that is this Galaxy Opal Gus Williams. I made a gameplay on him. You get this card from playing Triple Threat online. He has 40 Hall of Fame badges and 6 gold badges. And yeah, this card is absolutely a beast. 99 on offense, 99 on defense. He's a little undersized, 6 foot 2, but hey man, this guy this guy's a lot of fun to play with. The only badge that he's missing, because he has almost everything, is range extender. He doesn't have any version of range extender, but everything else, he has all the other badges you would need in the card. Now, the second card that we have which is probably the second best card on my team is this Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. He has 21 Hall of Fame badges, which is a little low for an Opal. You know, this guy has 40. But Brandon Roy is going to be probably one of the best cards in my team for a while. He came out a long time ago when you had to finish the Spotlight Series 2. But yeah, man, this card is always going to be good. 99, 99, 6 foot 6, classic shooting guard build. Not great driving layup, 98, 3 point shot, 95. Driving dunk 98, 92 ball handle, 95 perimeter defense. He has actually some good rebounding. My shoe boosts it by three, but it's already really good. Really good speed with ball. This card is just an absolute beast overall. And this guy does have range extender. He has clamps. He has basically every badge you'd want in the card. And the ones that he doesn't have, he has them on gold. Now the third best reward card, third best free card that I have on my team. It's definitely going to be this Pascal Siakam right here. I had to grind out the Spotlight Sim East challenges, and I made another gameplay. I'm going to put that in the cards right now. A full lineup of Spotlight Sim cards. That team was actually really, really good, and Siakam was dogging in those games. So, yeah, he has 28 Hall of Fame badges, more than our Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy, and 26 gold badges. Six foot nine. He's a power forward, but you can also play him at small forward, which is really, really good. So you can have an advantage with your size. 99 on defense. He's at 93 on offense, but I feel like he deserves a 99. He has a 90 driving layup, 94 mid three-point shot. You know, his driving dunk is at 85, standing dunk is at 90. Pretty solid ball handle, but yeah, he's really a lot better than he seems to be. It was actually crazy what I did with this card. I pulled a shot from almost half court. Yeah, he's a green machine, probably one of the best forms in the game. Now, the fourth best reward card. Now, this is definitely going to be hard because I have this Michael Beasley, which is a token reward. And I have this RJ Barrett, which is another token reward. Now, they're both really, really good cards, right? Michael Beasley has 31 Hall of Fame badges and 24 gold. RJ Barrett has a lot less badges. But first, we're going to look at RJ Barrett. He's a 99 on offense, 6 foot 7. You know, he has range extender, he has clamps, quick first step, downhill, you know, yeah, a lot of other badges, but when you look at his attributes, don't really pay attention to his three-point shot, it's boosted by three. So his three-point shot is normally a 92, his driving layup is a 92, his driving dunk is a 95, 86 ball handle, 92 perimeter defense, this card is a beast. He's, this, he's like a lower version of that galaxy opal brandon roy but he's a little taller so he has the size advantage and he has more hall of fame badges which says a lot a lot of the newer cards have more badges than the old cards but this opal brandon roy his attributes are always going to be better than these pink diamonds his attributes are amazing because he's one of the most complete players to ever play the game we also have michael beasley now you can make the argument that michael beasley is better than rj barrett but the reason I'm going to say RJ Barrett is better is because you can play him at shooting guard at 6'7". Michael Beasley, you can play him at power forward. He's 6'9". He has 31 badges, so he definitely has more. He also has clamps quick for a step, but no range extender on Hall of Fame. That's one thing that this card that would make this card better than RJ Barrett. He does have it on gold, though, and he has Hall of Fame flexible release, so you can hit shots with him very well. And yeah, looking at his attributes, 895 driving layup. He has a much better post game. 
cannot shoot the three ball as well. I put a three point shoe on him. So his three pointer is normally an 87, I believe. Yeah, an 87. His driving dunk is a little better than RJ Barrett's 97 compared to RJ Barrett's 95. He has the same ball handling. RJ Barrett is better perimeter defender than he is. He has better rebounding and he's not as fast with the ball, but he's six for nine, so he has that size on him and he has a lot more badges. So, yeah, I don't know. You could say that they're tied, but yeah, they're both really, really good cards. Now we have fourth. Now, I gotta say, this is gonna be a hard decision because I have two more of the token rewards that came out with RJ Barrett and Michael Beasley. We have D'Angelo Russell, we have Joel Embiid, but I gotta say that Giannis. Even though he came out a lot, even though he came out earlier this year, he is still one of the best cards in this game. And there is a better Giannis, but I got to say, this one is still a beast. He has only 10 Hall of Fame badges, but let me show you guys what he has. He's a 99 on offense and defense, 6 foot 11. He can play the power forward and the small forward, so that's really good. Giannis always has the best animations. He has quick first step, downhill, fancy footwork, which helps him do those hop steps which makes him really, really cheesy. He also has contact finisher, so he can definitely dunk on people. And he has clamps, off-ball pass, pogo stick, tireless defender, consistent finisher. He has 32 gold badges, which is a lot more than a lot of the cards we've seen. He has dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, floor general, and defensive leader. He's just a really good card to have on your team. When you have Giannis on your team, it just you're, you're a much bigger threat when it comes to fast breaks. Now, for the fifth card, I'm going to say that Joel Embiid is a better than D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell, I think he's more fun to play with, but you just can't deny Joel Embiid is really good. He's 99 offense, 98 defense, 7 feet tall with 25 Hall of Fame badges. He has, does he have range extender? Yeah, no range extender Hall of Fame, but he's really solid on defense. He has a lot of defensive badges, including defensive leader. He has deep hooks. He's really, really good in the post. And yeah, I'm definitely sure he has gold range extender. Yeah, he does. Go to quick draw. This car can do it all. He has a good driving layup, amazing post game, good mid range. He has a 91 three point shot, which is amazing. He can dunk, 85 driving dunk, 95 standing. He has pretty good playmaking for a center. 69 ball handle is not that good, but it's better than a lot of other centers in the game. He has a 96 block. 96 interior defense and he can play some perimeter defense and he can get get, get some steals He gets some good rebounding 95 95 and his speed is amazing for a center 73 speed with ball is Definitely better than a lot of centers in the game except for the cheesy ones like you know ball ball that just came out But yeah, Joel Embiid. I'm pretty sure he can compete with that card Now we have D'Angelo Russell one of my favorite cards 99 on offense 92 on defense He's a 6'5 point guard. So he definitely has the height advantage he has floor general, range extender, ankle breaker, dimer, and yeah, quick first step, giant slayer, no clamps hall of fame, but he has it on gold, yep, he has pickpocket, pick dodger, quick draw, and yeah, this card is one of the best shooters in the game, I put a shoe on him to make his mid range a max 99, I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah, it's a 98 without the shoe, so he doesn't even need it, but he has a 95 driving layup, but the shoe up this draw foul from 88 to 91 it upped his driving dunk from 75 to 78 solid ball handle he really catches a lot of ankles good perimeter defense for d'angelo russell you know he's not known for being a defender but with the gold clamps and 86 perimeter defense and with his size he's six foot five he'll be able to get some stops good rebounding for a point the shoe up to speed of ball from 93 to 96 that's the main reason i put it on him good vertical for a card with a low dunk Man, there's not really much to say about this card. He's just, he's D'Angelo Russell, man. He plays like a taller Stephen Curry. That card is really good at scoring. So now that we went over the best five cards and D'Angelo Russell, I'm going to have to say that, yeah, this is definitely the best rewards lineup. You could probably take out Gus Williams for D'Angelo Russell. And we also have an honorable mention at the point guard slot. We have three of them. So... Jeremy Lin, fully evolved, is one of the best cards in the game. 17 Hall of Fame badges, and yeah, definitely a lot of the point guards have some of the same badges, but just looking at his stats, he has a 94 driving layup, 92 three-point shot, 
88 driving dunk, 92 ball handle, and 88 perimeter defense. So yeah, definitely a solid card. 97 ball handle too. Jason Kidd, he's just a really solid defensive point guard. He can score the ball too. 96 driving layup, 93 point shot, 63 driving dunk. He's not known for dunking. Really good ball handle and passing. His defense is the best for any point guard in the game. He can rebound too. 99 speed with ball so yeah this card is really fast i put a shoe on him to get it to 99 and now we have another rewards card from triple threat you get him the same way you can get gus williams this fred brown you could argue he's better than that opal he's six foot three with 27 hall of fame badges range extender all of that you already know what he has he also has hall of fame clamps 92 driving layup 98 three-point shot so yeah he's a better shooter than d'angelo russell He's the same dunker. Both have 75 driving dunks. He has a good ball handle. And yeah, he's faster than D'Angelo Russell, D'Angelo Russell with the ball as well. And pretty sure he has better defense. Yeah, better defense than him too. So yeah. It's hard to say which point guard is the best, but I'm just gonna go with the Opal. Just because he has 40 Hall of Fame badges. Now on the bench. We got a lot of rewards cards. Richard Jefferson. He's always going to be one of the best in the game, just for the simple fact. 99 offense and defense. Don't look at the boost. The boost up the stat attributes by three. I'm pretty sure he has a 97 driving layup, though. 93 three-point shot, 98 driving dunk. He has a originally 86 ball handle. He can lock up interior and perimeter. Good rebounding, good speed with ball, and his card is probably one of the best in the game. And he has gold range extender. So, yeah, he's fire, man. Now at the power forward position, we already went over Michael Beasley, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now this card took me forever to get to Pink Diamond, but he's a little, he's a little like outdated. 13 Hall of Fame badges, 13 gold, two silver. He has Hall of Fame deep hooks, Hall of Fame dream shake, brick wall, post spin, cross key score, drop stepper, contact finisher, back down punisher, post move lockdown, intimidator, rim protector, box, and the badge that makes me really want to use this card if he didn't have it i'd probably definitely use mb a lot more and blake griffin he has defensive leaders so yeah he's really solid on defense y'all can see how many games i play with him more than a thousand 1250 to be exact but this card is goaded in the post 88 driving layup his post fade is 94 his post hook is 99 and he has one of the best post hook animations in the game so that's the reason why i use him he can shoot the mid-range a little bit at 82 he can drive really well, 85 driving dunk. His ball handle is not that good. His block is pretty solid, 91. 93 interior defense. He's a great rebounder. I mean, he's 7 for 2. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is really good. Pretty fast, 86 speed, 86 acceleration. Great vertical and strength. This card is just a really solid center, but he's a little bit outdated, but you can definitely still get buckets with him. And you can score pretty reliably on the post hook. So now that I went over all of the best rewards cards in the game, I'm going to go over a few more that I have in my lineup that I just don't use. Paul Millsap is another one of the token marker rewards, but he came out before the newer ones. He's a really solid card, just a little bit outdated with only 12 Hall of Fame badges. Same thing with Reggie Lewis. He came out in the same time as Paul Millsap, and he's a little bit outdated, but still a really good card. So I would pick them up after you pick up, you know, D'Lo, RJ Barrett, Michael Beasley, and Joel Embiid. We also have some more. Blake Griffin came out in the spotlight series sets, but uh, I don't really know who's better between Blake Griffin and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I put Kareem just because he's seven foot two and he can play the center position better than Blake Griffin can, unless you have a small ball team. He also has more Hall of Fame badges. Blake only has nine. And he's definitely better on defense than Blake Griffin. So, yeah, that's why I have him in the lineup. Another really good point guard. I have so many good point guards. But Richie Guerin and Stephon Marbury. Both amazing cards right here. Stephon Marbury, 6'3". 20 Hall of Fame badges, 32 gold. He has a lot. 97 driving layup. 93 point shot. 93 driving dunk. 96 ball handle. 94 perimeter defense. Like, you can't really top that. Richie Greer in another beast, 94 driving layup, 94 three-point shot, 88 driving dunk with a shoe, 86 ball handle, 97 perimeter defense. Man, this card is amazing. Wow. 
I gotta use this card. I haven't I have yet to use him. I'll try to make a gameplay, but he's definitely a beast. Either him or D'Lo are gonna make the lineup. It's hard, man. I have so many good point guards with Jason Kidd and Jeremy Lin. But yeah, we're not done. We also have this Serge Ibaka. He's very, very outdated. This is the last card I'm gonna talk about. He only has three Hall of Fame badges, but the thing about him is you can evolve him to an Opal if you really put in the work. And let me show y'all what happens when you evolve to Opal. He gets a boost in all of these stats. He gets some more Hall of Fame badges. But yeah, man, I'm gonna send a stick with this lineup as the best free lineup you can have. All you gotta do is grind the game and you can have this lineup. I didn't spend any money on 2K. Y'all can see I have 300,000 MT and 536 token. I'm saving up because once I buy two more pink diamond cards, I'll finally be able to afford my first Galaxy Opal reward. And I'm thinking about getting Josh Smith. And then I'm going to move Siakam probably to the power forward slot and start Josh Smith at my start Josh Smith at small forward. Unless I pick up Tim Duncan, which I really can't see, or Zach Levine, it's a hard decision. But I don't have to make it yet until I hit 1,050 tokens. Then I'll be able to afford my first Galaxy Opal. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. It was constant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, I really appreciate it if y'all can help me get there. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm on the road to the cash, you niggas be mad, my niggas gon' double up And I'm on the road, then you're fast, big dope, I don't pass, niggas better buckle up Serving so fast, I might crash, and these on my ass, I'm doing the dash No, I can't help but get in my bag, no, I'm in my bag, get into the cash hey, Young nigga 17, this is the better me, live with you, cannot relate, no I get some bread on me, know it's a friend of me, waving this shit when I